Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, we do a lot of maintenance on the vehicles, and, um, among other things. But today we're changing the oil in a 2008 Chevy Express. Uh, this is our main work truck. And we've got, you know, we've got some other trucks out here in the yard too. But this one, we really put, the, put a lot of weight in the trailer and pull around. So we're going to put new oil in here. This is a Valvoline uh, 520. Say we need six quarts. There's five in here and one in here. And we're going to try out the K&N filter for the oil filter. Give that a try, see how well it works. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my handy dandy vice grips. Yes, my vice grips. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up this oil pan bolt. And we'll take this off. Maybe. I'm trying to do it with one hand. So we've got that loose. Then we're going to stick our oil collection pan under here, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and loosen this on up. This oil is kind of warm. I just pulled up here, but it should be all right. Remember, as soon as you pull it out, it's going to fly. So there it goes. So we'll let that drain. And next, we'll go ahead and uh, take off the oil filter. Which is done with the oil filter wrench. So here's our old oil filter, and we're going to go ahead and slide our oil filter wrench on there and tighten it up a little bit. And then we're just going to unscrew it, and you see how easy it unscrews. Everyone thinks I put it on here really tight, they're just crazy, but, anyways. Hey, you know, today we're filming with a Vivitar. Uh, from Walmart, and this little camera only costs $52, and we're going to give it a try just to see what kind of, you know, resolution and whatnot we get out of here. I'm going to let that drain for a second, and then we're going to unscrew it. So, again, we're just unscrewing it by hand, and it's just going to drop down here on the ground here. I've got some protection down here, a little bit. It's hot. So, next I'm going to go ahead and get some of the old oil, and I'm just going to coat the ring, this little rubber O-ring, helps it seal, goes on there a little bit easier. Just use your finger, spread it around, that's plenty. If you can see up there, here's the threaded spot that holds the filter. It's kind of a tough little spot, really. I, you know, Chevy design is always different than Ford, of course we have both type trucks. You screw it on there hand tight, and then, you know, it's really slippery. So I'm going to put my oil wrench back on here and give it a few twists. Again, slide the oil wrench up on there and twist it, basically giving it about three quarters of a turn. It might look like a lot, you guys, but it's really not. I just love all the comments on my noisy oil filter. It's, it's just hilarious. Your know, vice grips. Oh, that oil filter is too tight. Eh, you know, hey. Again, the comments are great, you guys. I'm glad you watched the video. So, we're going to put our oil plug back in. We just screw that in there hand tight. Then, <laughs> I love it. Then, we're going to use our handy dandy vice grips. And we are going to secure it tight. Nice and snug using vice grips. Yes, using vice grips. How many times have I said that so far? You know, I think that it's really amazing to get comments about vice grips. <laughs> you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you don't have the tool, whatever the, whatever the job is, and you don't have the tool, I certainly hope that you're able to complete your task. So, we just completed changing the oil. Um, use vice grips and oil filter wrench that's all we needed okay so let's go ahead and and change you know add the new oil um, we're going to go ahead and pull off the oil cap We've got our little handy dandy tiny little funnel here should work just fine just have to pour it slowly we're going to pour in our five quarts here first we just have to let it go slow because it fills up the funnel pretty quick so we're finishing up here pouring this five quarts in here 
This took a little little bit of time because of the small funnel, but nice, gets it all in there. Next, we're going to go ahead and put uh, one more quart of 5W20 is what I'm running in here. It's summertime here. It's hot. We need kind of a thinner oil, but not too thin, so I like the 20 weight. Let's go ahead and put on our cap and just tighten that down, and we're all done here. Basically, basically just clean up your hands, and you're done. Now, real quick. <laughs> Not only did I do this with vice grips and an oil filter wrench, but I also did it with one hand. So all those people that are making fun of my videos and having a great time, first of all, thank you very much for watching my videos. It's great, and I'm glad I'm giving you guys subject matter to talk about. But you, know, you do it with one hand. So let's look for leaks over there. Let's get a little closer where you can see really good. It's kind of dark under here, so we have to let it let our eyes adjust. You can see the bolt right there. Nothing wrong with that bolt. And there's absolutely no drips in here at all. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.